Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, dear guys, today I am here to demonstrate you about the uh, isolation of especially the fungi and it's a similar is the case with the bacteria from the infected fruit or any infected part of the, the procedure is the same. So for this, uh, we first of all we should have the infected plant part. In this case we have the fruit and similarly we have uh, we should have the uh, lamina flow cabinet for yeast, uh, for sterilized conditions or aseptic conditions and in that we must have the infected fruit the uh, burning uh, spirit lamp the disinfected the clorox 10% and distilled water and and, and the blotter paper and uh, uh, no, not the, but the last but the, not the least the petri dish is filled with the media so for today I, the isolation of the fungi from the infected part let's start uh, from uh, the beginning how to uh, cut the portion and how to place it Bismillah Rahman Rahim so you, you can see here uh, that I, I, I have already disinfested this infected mango. It is a rotten part basically, and uh, just I, uh, I am cutting it from the edge. We should cut this from the edge because uh, we should have some healthy part of the uh, infected mango uh, because the fungus is at its maximum potential here uh, and. And, and, and it is it is averting maximum of its energy for its growth. So we, we should take the infected the dead part and the living part. Uh, uh, we, we are taking three uh, three parts for three petri dishes. So these are the parts which I, I placed uh, in the dish uh, for 30 seconds, maybe up to one minute we can keep them uh, and after that we should transfer them. Uh, with a sterilized forceps, uh, being cooled for, for, for a while. And then, now its time is over for in the disinfectant. Now we are placing it in the sterile distilled water for a while. So, these are put here just to remove the disinfectant from the surface of the uh, infected parts. We place them on the blotter paper before placing them in the media plates. So, this one. And for that, we should now open these petri plates very carefully with the left hand with the uh, thumb and the, uh, the finger the, and we should open it near the burner so that any contaminant may not enter may not enter uh, in the petri plate so I am placing it in the mid of the plate and it is put here similar is the case with the second Petri plate, we should make it sterile again and wait for a while. And we should take this one, I am taking as you are seeing here.
another one similarly uh, in the third case so i kept these three infected plant parts these are the, you can say that these are three replications of the same uh, sample and we put them there after uh, maybe we, we we may use a paraffin or we may not uh, use it no problem and now we will uh, keep them in the incubator for uh, five days to seven days to see the uh, what is there for just incubation for after that we will observe that the, these the, 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 the whatever the fungus is, is there they, they will, it will grow. So this is whole about the isolation process in aseptic condition in the laminar flow. So thank you very much for today's. Just uh, the last step is we are keeping it in the uh, laminar uh, in in the in the incubator. It is placed at 25 degree centigrade. So all is there, you, you can observe uh, that what we did and it is the whole procedure about the isolation of the fungi. Thank you.